What's up dudes, it's Dolan here, and today I want to bring you five badass locations you can build on on the Knaves Gain map for 7 Days to Die. These locations are pre-built, they're already made, you can just find them on the map at these locations. And this one is probably one of my favorite. This is the first place I ever started building on when I got this game. It is the Survivor Town. And uh, it's got a couple watchtowers, it's got like three watchtowers in, in some of the corners. Um, some of it's kind of destroyed, but it's got a meds little house here. It's got an upstairs to the meds house. It's got a food mart over there. Uh, it's got a water tower in the middle. It's got a decent little wall around it. You're going to want to upgrade the wall as soon as you can, but, I mean, you, you can't really ask for more than this. It's multiple buildings, at least six or seven rooms spread out. It's pretty easily defendable. You can easily put uh, some spikes or whatever you want around the base because it is built on a nice flat little part. And you can always go up here on the watchtower if you want to see around. Maybe on horde days you can see uh, where the spawn, where the horde is actually spawning at. But another location that I want to show you guys is a bunker. Now this location is a bunker, dudes. A bunker, a badass little bunker. It's under, the, it's encased in concrete and it's underground. It's actually under a house. The house was destroyed by uh, the people that were above just now, but um, this bunker is, I mean, easily livable. Check it out. It's got a couple different rooms, a little kitchen, uh, some bed spaces, so you can delete these beds and put some bed rolls down or whatever. It's got a gun safe you can crack, some other cool stuff. But enough of the bunker, let's go ahead and move to yet another location. Now this location is going to be out in the desert, but it is a church. It's a small church. It's not a huge building, but what's nice about this place is this gate surrounding it because it is made with brick and iron bars. So that's a nice little starter gate. If you want a nice little fence around your place, that's a nice little thing. It's kind of... It's enclosing a nice little area here. You can build some nice spots if you get rid of some of the tombstones or something. Uh, like I said, the church isn't too big, but it's really the fence that makes that place. Another location, also in the desert, is a small town. Now, I really like this, uh, this little small western town because it reminds me a lot of the hometown that I grew up in, where we have one main street and uh, a population of about 800 people. So honestly, I'd like to build here one day just because it reminds me of my hometown, the old kind of Western type of building here. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, the coordinates are right there. Another location that I think you guys should check out, especially if you like the snow area, because there aren't a lot of places in the snow that you can build at, but this is a nice little starter cabin. It's nothing too great, it doesn't have a fence around it, it's not a big building or anything, but it is a nice little uh, snow cabin, I mean a log cabin in the snow, and it looks pretty cool. Um, you might have to defend some of the windows, or you're definitely going to have to put some defenses around, because that wood's not going to last too long with zombies chewing at it. As you can see here, they're already trying to break through, and they are succeeding, but it's a nice little snow cabin. If you happen to be around the area, you can head out here, check that cabin out. Another location you guys might just want to check out is this police office, police station. It is a pretty nice big building. It's, it's built out of some kind of uh, iron or or concrete or something so I think it's pretty sturdy it's got a nice little entrance here it's easy to break into of course it's got a couple stories it's got like two stories quite a few rooms some of it have furniture in it already so you might like that little bathroom it's got these pretty cool gel cells I don't know what you could do with that but uh, it's pretty cool to be held up in a police office, so.
You might want to fix the roof up, though, if you decide to live here. Because zombies, especially those crawling spider zombies, might uh, decide to drop in from above. Now, I want to show you guys this this town. This is the last town. This is the last location I'm going to show you guys. But I wanted to show you guys this town because of how freaking big it is. You can't... I mean, I'm playing on Xbox One at... And I know not everybody is, but I think on PC you can have 16 or so players in a server. On Xbox One you can only have 4. So even if you have a full server, there's no way you'll be able to have enough people to live in all these houses. But this town is huge. It's out here in the desert at these coordinates. And I mean, I'm going to ride around for a minute showing you guys all around this place because of how big it is. As you can tell already, I'm not even halfway around the city. This is the second... So that's... That was the second turn right there, so I'm halfway around the city now. And uh, some of the buildings are damaged. Some of them are in perfect shape. It's got pretty much one of each kind of store. It's got a shotgun messiah, a bookstore. It's got a great big courthouse here, a church, Shamway Foods, gas station, Papa Pills. I think it's got a car lot here. It's got everything in the game here, and it's even got this spot right here has got a nice little fence, nice little gated area by the church. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys want more, and I'll see you guys later.